everybody, welcome back. I'm Mr. Hayes. We're going through AP statistics. We're using the stats medics lessons. Everything you need is found down below, including the link we'll be using later. And while you're down there, hit subscribe. Maybe a like. We'll see where things go. Um, today, what we're going to be talking about is ACT scores. And the concept that we're hitting here is going to be one of those fundamental things that we're going to be using in elementary statistics for the rest of the year. So please make sure you take note when we go through it. What we're doing here is we're comparing, we're using a simulation to compare the ACT scores between two high schools. ACT scores, if you're not sure about it, use whole numbers from 0 to 36 to rank everybody. And so what we're going to do is that there's a link down below that will take you to what you're about to see here. Now, the first thing that you needed to do is describe the population um, distribution. So of a ACT scores from, and this is going to be from the EK high school. Um, all the data is up over here. Notice standard deviation is 5, median is 16, mean is 16. You can say this is approximately normal for the shape. Again, we don't know for sure it's normal, but it looks normal, so we'll use one of our LY words. Adverbs are great for that. Um, and then variability, um, go down here. So again, this is mean and standard deviation. Since this is our population, we'll be using mu and sigma for this. All right, and just to show you that, come back over. Now, quick note about the ACT, um, they do go all the way up to 36. The reason why it stops 32 is that the last four or five percentage points here are all spread out to really kind of delineate stuff. So again, there's the middle right there. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take a sample of five. Now, um, when you load this up, this down here we'll get to later, this up here should say mean and n equals five. We're going to go ahead and animate so you can kind of see what's happening. So here are the five randomly selected scores. So we did five reps. Boom. Says the range. We don't care about that. Here is your mean. So your mean is going to be approximately, you calculate that out. When you calculate that out, that's probably a little bit higher than, that's 16, 17, 18. So we call it 19. If you calculate out your scores from these five scores, you're going to round these to the nearest integer. So you're going to go through and you're going to continue to do that. So you're going to, as you continue to click on this, you're going to see the five scores taken. And then the means are going to drop down here in the distribution of means. And you'll notice that the reps are counted, the medians, et cetera. Now, we don't have time to go through and click on all those individually. So what we want to do, the directions say, is click on 10,000 of them. No animation, sorry. But now look what happens. And we did this a little bit yesterday. When you take samples, the variability moves in and since our population is normal notice our means stay the same so that's gonna be the first thing that you're going to do go down through here um back here blue box is sampling how do we know the sampling distribution is approximately normal since the population distribution is normal then we know that the sampling distribution of x bar is also going to be normal so again not super surprising now the next thing that they have you go through and do is you're going to do the Rockford High School, and we're going to change this. We are going to clear the lower three, and then we are going to go down here and we're going to say it's skewed. Now notice the data is skewed over to the right. So that's what you're going to end up writing down here in section four. Make sure that pops up. So it's skewed right. Most students do poorly. Only a few do well, okay, because the mean is right here at a grand... Oh, do, do, what? The mean is 8.8. .8. You've got a peak here at four. You actually can hear medians here, means here, and there's your standard deviation. Okay, so you're going to go through and do the exact same thing. Um, now, the one thing that we're going to do here is a little different. We are going to have this n. We're going to do sample sizes of two for this first one, and we're down here. We're going to do sample sizes of twenty five because we want to compare the size. Does the sample size do anything? We have a larger sample size. We do know that, obviously, the standard deviation goes in, but does it do anything to the shape? And so we're going to do 10,000 samples of that. And I forgot to hit the mean here, so we're going to clear that. So when we're going to hit this, we're going to get sample sizes of 2 here and 25 here. So if I hit 10,000, now look what happens. How would you describe the distribution of means where n is equal to 2. And how would you go through and describe the distribution of means when the sample size is 25? 
And that's what I want you guys to go through down in here and write. Still recording. Um, so the shape of sampling distribution of x bar when n is equal to 2, you end up getting it skewed right. But it's not, I mean, notice, it's not nearly as strongly skewed as the first one, right? Still skewed, really skewed, eh, sort of skewed. Now, interestingly enough, what happens when you go down here for 25? Now, this is approximately normal. So the two things to point out here is the following. Okay, first of all, these are going to be population distributions. Actually, just this one. Okay, so those are population distributions. So if the population di distribution is either normal or skewed right, then what ends up happening is, down over here, well, these are going to be sampling distributions. This idea that something is approximately normal, okay, we're going to end up, if the sample size is sufficiently large, and we are going to actually discuss, and we're going to discuss this on the next page, sufficiently large is going to be that n is at least 30, so a little bit bigger than the one that we saw, okay, you can treat the sampling distribution as normal. It's approximately normal. This over here is something that we're going to call the central limit theorem. And we'll spell that out over in the formalized area. But again, one of the key concepts, as long as your sample size is at least 30 or larger, you can treat everything as normal. Z-scores work, everything else. And it makes our lives much, much easier. So I'll see you over on the formalized side. Talk to you soon. <music>